artists together mm -hmm. and like make something big out of it mm -hmm. like people can know our stories uh, mm -hmm. in 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 a big way mm -hmm. so uh it became bigger in 2017 mm -hmm. 2018 it even grew bigger mm -hmm. and uh, now we are here by the way so far yeah. how many members do you have yeah uh according to our statistics uh -huh. we have uh, more than 100 right now mm -hmm. artists wow uh, we have uh, over 200 volunteers mm -hmm. we have over 900 members mm -hmm. yeah so actually the community is growing it's more growing and, more yeah. artists are and we are even inviting more people to still come in there, there is still a lot of opportunity to come in they can join on our website by the way our uh -huh. website is up uh -huh. at www.tujenge mm -hmm. hyphen mm -hmm. at dot org Hmm. Yes. I like the fact that yeah, don't make you more or less come to, to for as a platformer, <laughs> platform giver. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, Matilda, let's talk about you because actually most of these pieces are you brought them here to see yes. that we can see. Yeah. Um, where do you draw your inspiration for for, for most of your work? Is it, are you passionate <laughs> about human beings, human yeah. stories, or is it a, a wildlife? I don't know. Artists have a different niche. Yeah. What's your inspiration yeah. when it comes to the work that you create? I feel that my inspiration mm -hmm. is why I, where I am in life, really. Mm -hmm. So I kind of get it everywhere, to be honest. I know it's kind of cliche to say that, <laughs> but yeah. I kind of like it. It depends on what is happening. Mm -hmm. Like um, for this one, for example, mm -hmm. it's um, inspired by social change. Mm -hmm. So these are women who fought for independence. And mm -hmm. I was thinking, when you think about Jamuri Day or Madaraka Day or those days, you never think about the role of women. That's true. You know, to, uh, their role to build the country. It's yeah. always, you know, women, you know, brought food for the fighters. Okay, I know. You know, or <laughs> they brought supplies. <laughs> and you're thinking, they're women who are like on the front line Honestly. of the war. Yeah. You know, and. And I feel that they should be held, mm -hmm. you know, like I, and it's not like a, just like, okay, <laughs> I don't want to get into the feminist <laughs> idea, but I feel uh -huh. that everybody should have like equal recognition yes. in a way, according, I mean, deserving of the contributions they made for our country. Yes. So like that one, the piece of the lady crying over there mm -hmm. is um, basically um, kind of like uh, covers all the women who, were not who never came out to tell their stories because mm -hmm. you realize they went through sexual assault they yeah. went through so much suffering yeah. and they're kind of veiled so the society knows of them maybe their immediate community mm -hmm. but we never get to know their stories so mm -hmm. that's a part that's a gap in history okay. in the history of our country yeah. um this is mudoni wakirema mm -hmm. i'm i'm not sure if you've had her uh, yes, heard yes, of her no, i've heard of her she's uh, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's always celebrated during Mashujai. exactly because uh -huh. she was one of the mm -hmm. louder and more vibrant um, personalities yes. and they're the people who were leading she was leading she was part of the people leading the Mau Mau mm -hmm. so you know people like this should definitely be healed I have Dedan Kimathi over here uh -huh. but I also draw my inspiration from nature mm -hmm. from the things happening around me mm -hmm. the piece you're seated next to for example yeah. mm -hmm. that's Sudan mm -hmm. remember the story of Sudan um, the last male white rhino wow. and there was an iconic picture taken um of this ranger actually lying on sudan it was very sad yeah. and i looked at it and it moved me and it inspired me and i thought you know let me try and paint like an like what i felt exactly from mm -hmm. seeing that kind of thing you know as humans you are kind of in a way unfortunately destroying the earth and we have yeah. to be aware of what we're doing yeah. Um, the piece down here is a uh, landscape as well. Mm -hmm. So I kind of do everything, but I try to have feeling into my pieces. I mm -hmm. try to have my pieces communicate and reach out to people, mm -hmm. pass the message. So mm -hmm. n most of the time, probably not art, art for art's sake. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, art for social change yes. or art to communicate something. So I see there's a cause, and there's, I like the fact that she talks yeah. about the silent heroines, the yes. people who we don't yeah. get to hear their story, yes. um, what we are doing to mm -hmm. our environment. Exactly. It's interesting. So let's talk about some of them. I think that's a lovely. In fact, I was so happy <laughs> to hear the politics side. I was very excited. Anyway, yeah. uh, let's talk about <laughs> some of your materials. Like, what do you use when it comes to a piece like this? I can see leaves. Are those yeah. actual leaves? Yeah, these are actual leaves. Wow, okay, so let's talk about your raw materials. Like, how yeah. long does it even take you to come up with, with this particular structure? This, uh, it was a three piece collection. One was sold. Uh -huh. One mm -hmm. of them is uh, Mekatilili Wamenza. Uh -huh. And this is. Um, That's my favorite one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mudoni, Mudoni Okirima. Uh -huh. What I use most of the time, I have 
different media i'm a multimedia artist mm -hmm. so i kind of i can take pieces of paper and kind of dye them or old pieces yeah i can see newspaper yeah cut there's outs, like yeah. newspaper cutouts some of mm -hmm. them are stories mm -hmm. of the women who have painted uh -huh. as well mm -hmm. um the leaves i kind of wanted to represent our country so it was actually initially green black and red uh -huh. which are the three colors on, in our flag yes so the the leaves were representative of the green mm -hmm. Because it's our part of our land. our mm -hmm. land, mm -hmm. you know, and then we have I I use a lot of acrylic paint. That's mm -hmm. one of my main mediums. Uh -huh. But then I kind of like put everything to kind of bring a 3D effect and mm -hmm. make the painting come out to you. I don't know if that makes sense. Like you kind of see, you you can run your hands through and feel mm -hmm. like it's coming out like to you like it's like alive it's <laughs> yeah yeah i get, yeah, I get the 3d effect <laughs> i really like that i yeah. get what you're saying i like also what you did with the wrinkles um <laughs> what happened there <laughs> if we could zoom in um, and see um i wanted to portray also has some wrinkles, yeah i, I wanted because mm. it's a lot of hardship when yeah. you read their stories yeah. you find that they slept in jail yeah they were being beaten up mm -hmm. like crazy yeah. and they still have kids to think about so this and they have the women to think about uh -huh. it. have you seen a stressed woman <laughs> as in <laughs> like you will see the wrinkle you'll uh -huh. see yeah, like their facial ex the facial them to be extremely mm -hmm. expressive mm -hmm. so that it's kind of the story comes out of their face because if i made them cute and smooth mm -hmm. i don't think you would have gotten the intensity yes. of the hardship yeah. they went through yes. yeah so it's something that's meant to kind of of explain to you how hard it was and when you read the stories like you'll read some of these things it's uh the the mau mau want your gun so mm -hmm. it's one of those posters um in colonial times where yeah. they wanted to like um prevent the white people yes. from giving the guns to the to mau, mau, mau yes. or leaving their guns around yeah. you know mm. so some of these things are very racist yes <laughs> but you They're know part it's still of part of history and yeah. we have to kind of you know to be informed about our future we uh -huh. have to look into our past oh so yes. that's what yes. i think that yeah. is very true yeah. we cannot move forward without <laughs> studying what had happened previously yeah. Yeah. how long does it take you to come up with this um, particular pieces these pieces for this specific um series mm -hmm. i must have taken about four months four months yeah <laughs> wow yeah because it's a lot you know at first you know you're kind of still developing your ideas you're mm -hmm. trying to read because i had to like go to national archives yes to get the museum yeah, yeah, to libraries yes. and yeah. read about their stories first yeah. of all mm -hmm. so it's informed by a lot of research like uh -huh. part like a full probably one and a half months was research wow and then the rest was now trying to now sketch on my book first mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then like translate those sketches into the stretchers uh -huh. into the stretched canvas and then now the whole painting process which is quite something good priming and the painting and where did you yeah. get the, the the raw materials like to be like to start this out for someone at home who is wondering yeah. okay yeah i like mm. art but i can't afford this paint mm -hmm. i can't afford this how yeah. did you get how did you get your resources as you can see these are things you can know you can even paint in there <laughs> like yeah like the leaves you have you <laughs> have you have <laughs> gazettes you know you yeah. <laughs> at home you mm -hmm. know leaves are right outside your window probably mm -hmm. you know um <laughs> the paintings uh -huh. themselves okay the things that i think i must have kind of looked for are the small pieces on the posters for sleeves and uh -huh. the mau mau those things i found online mm -hmm. and had to like dye the paper first mm -hmm. um the paints are you know textbook center i like that that's a hack scope. you wait you got it on and then you dye it so yeah, i have to print it and wow. then i dye it so <laughs> because uh, you know you kind of want to bring out an effect yes that it's an old story old kind of yeah. story yeah ah, exactly uh -huh. but you know of course some of these you know they're in the they're in the museum but they're things that are you know sealed forever yeah, you, you can't go and cut them, them out there. for the sake of art <laughs> so you have to kind of find a way to improvise uh -huh. so yeah i got them online i printed some of these uh -huh. and i dyed them and uh -huh. then i put them there wow and then there's the newspaper cuttings that was a lot of work because i dyed every single cutting you can see here mm -hmm. some of them were related to mau mau some of them are not i'm so curious yeah. to ask how much you'd charge for this piece after all that work yeah, that has um, been put in including the research exactly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um about i'll say 35 to 50 35 so to 50 th yeah those are things we're talking about but uh -huh. the smaller pieces go for way less like these pieces would be mm -hmm. around 10,000 8,000 uh -huh. small pieces like that you can get quickly for gifting uh -huh. you know like for sudan uh -huh. um that that would cost about five thousand three thousand mm -hmm. for the small framed pieces so okay. everybody has access to it uh -huh. of course the, i have buyers who want massive like they want to make a statement yes. especially
especially mm. like he was saying government yeah. organizations yeah. you want to walk in and it just like comes out yes. to you completely mm -hmm. but there are people who want small things you know for your home you yes. want to just like uh, yes. you know Very kind of, yeah. yeah do a little bit of decoration mm -hmm. so i make the smaller pieces for that too okay. but i also um i'm also open for commissions mm -hmm. so if you feel there's something that's inspiring you maybe mm -hmm. it's your child so you can tell me you know come up with something contemporary yes. uh, as a representation of my child mm -hmm. i definitely do that see um uh, kind of frame it and mm -hmm. deliver it to you for sure. So that's how it runs. Okay, okay. Yeah. I like this. I, really I like should it. also mention though, uh -huh. um, I'm, a, I'm also a member of a studio called Studio Soku. Mm -hmm. So they have contributed. Studio Soku. Yes, uh -huh. they contribute also a lot to some of my artwork oh. in terms of sharing ideas uh -huh. and um, also coming up with the materials for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so there's a lot of brainstorming involved. What I've learned yeah. from you today, uh, Matilda, is there's a lot of research. Exactly. There's some life hacks you can use like there are some things you can do, you can do mm. right now to achieve a certain effect like there's no excuse basically if you yeah do your research. And, and all these things are yeah. available like mm -hmm. if you just check online there's so many classes mm -hmm. there are so many studios popping up and mm -hmm. um, there are people like to jenga at kenya coming up yes all these people have different hacks. If you mm -hmm. go to different exhibitions, you'll see that ah. guys are coming up with creative things. You mm -hmm. kind of ca kind of pick inspiration from every little place and mm -hmm. and bring it out in your artwork. So, so the platform actually really does even give you motivation and a bit of inspiration exactly. when it comes to work and ideas. For sure, for sure. Ah. I, mean, I mean, like I have the idea of uh -huh. the leaves, but yes. there's another uh, artist who has but an wait, idea wait, about. Wait, wait, wait. It's good you brought up the leaves. I almost yeah. forgot to ask you that question. Okay. How do I know it will last long? What will happen when they start to how, d how do you achieve the the permanent effect because mm -hmm. i can see there's some shine on top of it yeah. what's that you've applied um varnish ah. yeah but the leaf itself mm -hmm. to just keep it uh flat yes i had to press them so they're pressed leaves oh, to so remove <laughs> you, you press them to remove all the moisture in uh -huh. the leaf yeah and uh -huh. then kind of attach it to the piece oh Okay, okay, yeah. interesting. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me talk to Don Mike. He's been very quiet, but yeah, at, least, yeah. at least now we know Matilda's <laughs> yeah. story when it comes to some of her pieces and some of the hacks and the, and the, and the very good points she has shared with some mm. artists at home when it comes mm. to collecting ideas. Yeah. Let me find out from you. Getting people together is not easy. Exactly. So let me ask you, when it comes to managing the different artists, the different, what are some of the stum stumbling blocks that you have encountered in the course of your success story? Yeah, so... You know, there is mentality out of the uh, out there that uh, mm -hmm. you know when people form organizations, mm -hmm. they like want money or anything. Yes, yes. So when we approach some of them, they think uh, we want to get like big percentages from them uh -huh. or anything. Mm -hmm. But that is not the case. We mm -hmm. just want to keep the organization running because at the end of the day, uh -huh. um, things need to be run by fans. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Even this studio yeah. runs with fans. Yes. You are here. Yeah. You are being paid yeah. to do this work. Mm. So even at Tujenge, there are people who are there. Mm -hmm. We have curators. We, mm -hmm. have, we have people who are there mm -hmm. to take care of things, to mm -hmm. keep things moving mm -hmm. or running mm -hmm. per se. So getting these people is not easy because mm -hmm. uh, they think we want to get big percentages out there because some of these galleries, mm -hmm. the permanent gallery, because we are not a permanent gallery, yes. there are these permanent galleries out there that ask for big percentages, crazy mm -hmm. figures. Mm -hmm. So uh, that becomes a challenge because mm -hmm. they think we are the same. Yeah. But we are different in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, there's there's a bad rep for con men and, and exactly, and especially exactly. when it comes sorry when it comes to the galleries, you find the percentages are crazy. If mm -hmm. you think exactly. about you you spent like four months painting something, yes, and they're gonna like chop your fee, yeah, you know by half. Oh God. So most artists, you find that you know we need people to support us to you know probably lower percentages would help to grow the industry as yes. well. So it's something for sure, I'm telling you, like to have a gallery that's um, putting like a lower percentage on prices on mm -hmm. sales mm -hmm. kind of re re uh, re relieves the stress from most of the artists And at it the motivates moment. you to continue because at the end of the day, you still need to put food on the table. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there are very yeah. many art collectors out here. Mm -hmm. They want to be like brokers, you get. But yeah. mm -hmm. you see, they can take this art for, l like she said, 40. Yes. Then yeah. she takes it, goes sells it even a million. 
Yeah. Right. You know, and you art, art is like people, land. Yeah, these it are people who it appreciates with exactly. time, yes. Mm. Uh -huh. These are people who are not even in the industry sometimes. Mm -hmm. You find they're not artists. They probably yeah. sometimes are not informed by art or yeah. inspired even by art. They're mm -hmm. just running a business. Yeah. So they don't care about this is the inspiration, this is the story. They don't really care. They want to mm -hmm. just make their margins, mm -hmm. make their money, mm -hmm. and you know, leave you <laughs> high and dry technically most of the mm -hmm. times. Okay, so I can so see it's that. It's a, it's a bit of a challenge, but I, at least now um, so many of these um, small studios are coming up yeah. to support and inform artists on how better to approach the market. So what can we do? What can the government do when even, it comes even, to... Even, even before we go to what can we do? Yeah. There are, there are many challenges out there. Cause you know, Nekana Don Mike was nimingi. prepared with that list. Nimingi. Because uh -huh. uh, now, uh, I, 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 we were talking to one of the artists uh, some time last month. Uh -huh. Then he was like, you know, I drew this celebrity. Mm -hmm. And then when it was at a function, mm -hmm. I went to give it out to, to, the, to the celebrity. Mm -hmm. But then, Ali Chukua, then it was like, I'll call you. Oh. So you remember you. You know, you, you take it there, so at least... And as appreciate yeah. for the little, you know, even if it's forty thousand, say, ah, for now I have thirty thousand. Yeah. You know, at least you have something to put on the table. Mm -hmm. To be honest. But uh, but but you don't see she there could it take you? See, okay. Let me say, uh -huh. it's it's it's. That's it, just it should an be, occupational hazard. Eh, but you <laughs> <Yeah>. see, Niki Chukwayo at Kwako, I expect you to say, hey. This is good. But let I me did let me give you something. You to draw me or yeah, to I didn't. Me I then? didn't. But you showed interest. You even took it. <laughs> like if you don't yeah? want it, don't yeah, take it. Don't, at don't all. take yeah. it. Let me just yeah. go keep it at my studio. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then uh -huh. there are, there is another artist again. Mm -hmm. He's a bit older because mm -hmm. we we have uh, different age groups. Mm -hmm. By the way, he is over forty. Mm -hmm. um, sells his artworks even for seven hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So this artist takes at least nine months mm -hmm. to come up with something yes the final product yeah then uh, after making it or uh, the, the, the when it is commissioned like she had said mm -hmm. she was he was commissioned to do this artwork then it took him nine months mm -hmm. you get mm -hmm. so for the nine months you take you finish the the, the painting or the the type of art it is mm -hmm. take it to the person mm -hmm. then he again wants no i want it for a lesser price I after mean, you, you have already done months, the work, after you, <laughs> you, you took seven, nine months, one uh -huh. year to mm -hmm. come up with something, mm -hmm. then something is not breaking even okay. in terms of money. You oh. are paying rent when you are making that. Yeah. Thing. Where you stay or where you're making it mm -hmm. needs rent. Mm -hmm. You need food. You need clothing. I mean, there is a family depending on you. Mm -hmm. And then it is not paying at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's not something good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think well, so. We, we want people start. to appreciate art through all means. Yeah. So then, what yeah. can we do if there's that, there what, you exactly. what I can say about what we can do mm -hmm. is, first of all, as individuals, mm -hmm. we need to learn how to be uh, be more appreciative about art. Because mm -hmm. being in a Ke like a Ken our Kenyan culture doesn't exactly. Um, teach us about the importance of art like yes. art, art, like uh, when you say you want to be an artist when you're younger yeah your parents are like oh don't you want to be an engineer yes. <laughs> you know yes no offense to engineers or anything mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. um so if we come uh, kind of learn the benefits of art mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. how it has power when it comes to communicating mm -hmm. and changing societies mm -hmm. and making social change even like and the so many huge African artists and mm -hmm. the market is now growing. Mm -hmm. So when we start, just as Kawaida mm -hmm. Wananchis, we start now appreciating the importance of this art. Mm -hmm. Even these galleries will be like, okay, um, I guess maybe we, you know, we have something to change. We should yeah. change something, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We need to know that these are not things, we don't get these things for free. Paints are expensive. Yes, yes. The stretchers are yes, expensive. Yes. The raw materials are costly, yes. Time is money. Yes. <laughs> if That's true. <laughs> you're using nine yeah. months mm -hmm. to a year to mm -hmm. create a piece. Mm -hmm. Of course, you do not want to get nothing out of yes, it. Yes. You need or to, you don't want to be have food short. to keep yes. you alive for those nine months yeah. while you do that piece. You have families to take mm -hmm. care of. I like the fact you know, that you so talked about uh, uh, the, uh, Kenya generally, people not being taught about the importance of art. I wanted to ask you, is there an unfair advantage with your, when it comes to your locally done work and work done internationally? When you come, when, 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 so when work comes from abroad and it's displayed together with yours, is there any bias? Is there any unfair advantage? Um, what I've seen is I don't think there is any mm -hmm. unfair Akuna advantage. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, there's a lot of curiosity towards African art. Ah, 
so so in your industry in it's fact, the there's a lot, lot but if we keep on uh -huh. not acknowledging the mm -hmm. power of our art here mm -hmm. We're losing those opportunities. I'm so tempted to invite you for Ethan politics, and you can come and tell <laughs> us the politics of art. Because <laughs> <laughs> the children looks very passionate about mm. it. Let's not talk about the, the sad <laughs> moments now, the two, the challenges and yeah. what have you. But you still haven't told me what you think we can do about it yeah. before we move on. By yeah, then. exactly. So yeah. uh, you would ask what the government or yes. even those other organizations yes, can, can do, do, or yes. even individuals. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, it's high time we like embrace these people. Mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. government should set up uh, uh, resource centers where uh -huh. these people can go and do something there. Mm -hmm. You get? Mm -hmm. Art really, really can pay. Mm -hmm. It can put food on the table. Mm -hmm. But you see, if people do not have resource, get access to resources, mm -hmm. then it becomes difficult. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I was in Kibra mm -hmm. with my colleagues. Mm -hmm. We went to do a story with uh, an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, he feeds his own siblings mm -hmm. through art. Mm -hmm. But it becomes difficult mm -hmm. when he can't approach people mm -hmm. to buy his art. Okay. You get yeah. So we also need the government, other institutions to come up and mm -hmm. tell us, hey, we have these kind of functions mm -hmm. and we can accommodate you to showcase or exhibit. Uh -huh. You get okay. Through these ways, uh, the government will, mm -hmm. will like, uh, be empowering the youth. Because mm -hmm. our main focus is on youth. Yes. So yes. we need youth empowerment. Mm -hmm. uh, we need youth to stop all these vices, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. like stealing, like, uh, you know, We killing. are fighting, loitering, idleness, yeah, exactly. and crime and drugs. Yeah. <laughs> but like when you go to Central Yabure, where you come up, mm -hmm. approach us, we will get you the right people, mm -hmm. uh, right stakeholders, mm -hmm. and then you'll, fo you'll put food on the table. Just yes. to touch uh, one last point mm -hmm. on the government, mm -hmm. I think they should make grants accessible to artists. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, grants, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Because um, abroad they have grants for artists. Mm -hmm. You find your artist to go to another country, do like, you know, stay there for a while. Oh. And yeah, we, I, d I haven't, I'm not sure. Maybe but you're the I one to begin it, Matilda. I have not <laughs> heard of <laughs> any uh -huh. grants um, that artists like us can apply for. Mm -hmm. You know, or oh. these exchange programs where you have intergovernmental, like, you know, people, artists from another country come here uh -huh. and artists from this country go there. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? Like, yeah. Because that, like, that <laughs> puts your artwork out there mm -hmm. and grows Kenyan art, mm -hmm. which is an advantage because, mm -hmm. yes, it's still a, you know, it's a major part of this country. So there's an issue of grants. Okay, it's a part I think of culture. Yeah, actually, I, I saw the president uh, earlier last week on mm -hmm. Twitter mm -hmm. saying that... Uh, it's time they empower the youth who are on art. Yes. Yeah. Yes. By giving resource, uh, by providing resources mm -hmm. and making uh, funds available. Yes, especially so now that I would like the pre I would really urge the president uh -huh. to really speed up this because mm -hmm. we really need them. Mm -hmm. It's been we, so we, long. We need right. a lot of. We he need needs to implement this thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. For sure. we, we need them. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh -huh. we have over hundred artists. Yeah. What What are they going to do yeah. if If we don't like give them platforms, mm -hmm. resources. Mm -hmm. I mean, it becomes difficult. Mm -hmm. We really need them. Even NGOs, mm -hmm. individuals who are out there, please come out in large numbers. We really need your support. Our web is on, you can check every detail yeah. and we will, be, uh, uh, we will really appreciate your efforts. Yes, but it is also good to appreciate the fact that you guys have come this far. To Jenga exactly. Arts, at least yeah. you have made an effort mm. to make a change. So, Serikali, exactly. the next part is there. Serikali's <laughs> <At least> idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the next part is there. Yeah. This other one is, mm. is basically you have covered it. Mm. And um, I wanted to know from, from you guys, what keeps you going? Let's talk about the good things now. Like the good things. What keeps you going? Matilda, what has been the highlight of your career? Which piece did you do that you were so <laughs> proud of? I like to ask artists that mm. question. What was your most exciting? expensive piece or what did you sell it for what is your mm. favorite work okay yeah. um this series i think has been a huge uh part women in politics yeah wow. women who fought for independence mm -hmm. they're not necessarily in politics mm -hmm. But they are brave women. Yeah. You leave your children at home and just decide to go and fight for your country. I, I never even got I family do that, in the first place. Yeah. 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 Some, some of them never yes. got the opportunity to yes. like even settle with anybody, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, what empowers me is the fulfillment mm -hmm. that I get from my work. So who did you, like, who was it that you painted? Which, which female, uh, which heroine? Heroine. Yeah. Heroine. yeah. Is it heroine or heroine? I could be saying the drug here. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> 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 yes, which heroine did you draw or, or paint that you were most proud of? 
Make a tea lily. Make a tea lily. Woman, so yeah. What I love her, her story. Was she riding on somebody's back? You wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, she wasn't. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. I just loved her story. She uh-huh. was. It's. It's. It, these were all portraits. So uh-huh. it was something I was doing, like with portraits, to just uh-huh. make uh-huh. make it expressive, uh-huh. and just like I feel like um, eyes are the windows to your soul. Yes. So that's probably why I did the portraits. So for Make a tea lily, mm-hmm. I loved the fact that she had a passion for yes. religion and yes. for her culture yes. with the Mijikenda. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know how y- Yami, when the British are doing something wrong, mm-hmm. she would get so passionate about <laughs> it. Yeah, like it is rumored she even walked from um, a cell, the prison in Mumia, still. Yes, she walked across the country. Yeah, I can till remember Mombasa that. Yes. for the same cause. Yeah. As in, for me, I just I'm like, whoa, you know, people get really passionate about what they really want to achieve in life. That's true. And just you know, such stories and such. Um, I don't know. I get so inspired, and let me I've ask you: Where did you take so that piece? Where did you take it? Did you sell it, <laughs> and for how much? I cannot talk about the buyer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We went for how but much? I did like sell it. Uh-huh. Fortunately, I'm really grateful. Uh-huh. I sold it for forty thousand. Oh, and there it was. Is there any that so you have refused with? Uh, like you have said, no. Let me just keep this one. Like. Um, <laughs> you, I, I used to, I used to have attachments to my yeah. pieces. Yeah. Like I would paint something, and I'm like, "Wow, this is so nice. Will I be able to do something close <laughs> to this again?" Yeah. Um, but then I had to learn how to just let go. Mm-hmm. Art is not just for me. It is, <laughs> <laughs> it is for the people. Uh-huh. You know, like there are these messages I'm trying to reach out to the people, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to bring more beauty to people's mm-hmm. lives. And uh-huh. so, why should I keep it all in my studio mm-hmm. or something? You know, I should definitely put it out there. So mm-hmm. I learned how to kind of let them go mm-hmm. so if somebody is interested i'm like okay last days with you <laughs> and just then let i just go let, and it make go. Some I let it go oh, yeah okay. it's okay yeah don't mind yeah. what has been the highlight of your career uh the highlight has been uh mm-hmm. back then you know it's not everyone who will uh, get to state house yes but, uh, Oh wow, uh, uh, you've been in yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> same platform with the president, I mean, <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. Um, we managed to get there to Jenge Art mm-hmm. uh, with uh, a, a variety of artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got there, showcased. Mm-hmm. The president, by the way, Ali Tupenda Sana. Uh-huh. We really appreciate for the opportunity, Mr. Uh-huh. President. Uh-huh. And then um, we also had the opportunity to work with other government uh, institutions. Mm-hmm. That was a very big milestone, by mm-hmm. the way, for Tujenge and uh, our artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are still pushing for the initiative. Mm-hmm. It's an initiative, mm-hmm. so we really urge more people to come out. Mm-hmm. I mean, you see, even uh, the um, property, 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 uh, pro- property companies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, real estate. Mm-hmm. Real estate. Mm-hmm. You see, when they are building these units oh. and they need people to do their home deco, uh-huh. we have the artists. Yeah, yeah. Give them, give them something instead of you know these people import these artworks from mm. abroad mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. come to put them here. Yes. At this uh, high end, uh, Nini. Yes, and we have them. these things yes. here, cheap. Mm-hmm. You cheaper. Get cheaper. Not cheap. <laughs> cheaper. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. cheaper. Uh-huh. Sorry for that. <laughs> cheaper. You mm-hmm. know, this piece could go even for a million abroad. Yeah. But when we have her to sell it for 60, 50,000, mm-hmm. I mean, she will put something on the table. That's true. Yeah. I like that. And congratulations exactly. for meeting the big boss upstairs somewhere on State, you, State House. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we'd like to know your social media handles. I think it's about time we conclude this interview. Yes, let's let's know where we can find you. Okay. Um mm-hmm. you can find my art page at Nirvana N I R V A N A underscore ish I S H. Nirvana Nirvana ish. All right. Mm-hmm. And I feel like um, I have to say it with an accent. <laughs> <laughs> you make use. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Um, uh-huh. And also, um, my design brand that also encompasses the, the art mm-hmm. is called MXM Africa with uh-huh. a K uh-huh. and Studio. MXM Africa Studio. Mm-hmm. So on MXM Instagram, you'll find it as MXM Africa. Mm-hmm. On Facebook, MXM Africa Studio. Uh-huh. That will also lead you to the artwork as well. So, yeah, those are my two platforms. Okay, yeah, great. Sure. They're good stuff. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we, you can find us on Facebook mm-hmm. at Tujenge Art, mm-hmm. on Instagram Tujenge Art. Mm-hmm. There is also another handle for our event. By the way, we have an event mm-hmm. that uh, now gives a platform for the exhibition for artists. Mm-hmm. It's Clever Art Gallery. Mm-hmm. On, uh, on, uh, Clever on Art Gallery. Yes. Wow. Uh-huh. Clever Art Gallery mm-hmm. uh, on Instagram and Facebook as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. You don't and want us to know your personal ones. So what is the Oh, problem? my personal one. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> uh, my personal one is Don Michael Mondi on Facebook, mm-hmm. Don Michael Mondi mm-hmm. on Instagram, and okay. on Twitter as well, yes. My personal one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, at MXM 
underscore king king yeah k-i-n-g okay um on facebook just check matilda mm -hmm. or mukami king or yeah actually mm -hmm. yeah all right, great yeah. so much to Jenge Atsa. It's been such a pleasure to hear your story and to have yeah. you in studio today. Yeah. Matilda, we're still going to have a date for politics and okay. arts. All right. <laughs> Why didn't you tell the big man Baba there, by the way, when you went to State House? What yeah. did not happen? But anyway, let's continue that conversation later. You have been watching, <laughs> <laughs> you have been watching Entrepreneurship Tuesday with Jenge Atsa. Thank you so much, Mike and Matilda, for coming to Thank you for today. having us as well. Thank yes. you for yeah. having us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so please don't go anywhere. Join Muchacha is coming up next to the next interview. And also, please do remember that you'll be at St. Paul's University live with the Goge with young family. So if you're a lover of literature, make sure you do stand by for that. And also we do have a small feature coming up on online businesses. So make sure you do not go anywhere. My name is Hilda Badidi. Goodbye.